Welcome back to another episode of Building with Bob. And today we're going to talk about the toolbox tour that I'm going to do on the Harbor Freight um, 56 inch US General toolbox. That's the one I decided on. I'm just going to get the lower. Um, it will fit from my workbench to about here. And I can get rid of this box. I can get rid of this janky wooden shelf that I built. I'm going to keep, for now, I'm going to keep this top box in this middle box. This bottom box is held together with some dry roll screws and chunks of wood. And I'm going to show you guys some of that stuff now and show you why I want to upgrade toolboxes because I'm just, I'm just really full as you can see from now. Let me turn this around. So we'll start talking about this up there. Is just a catch all, right? Just everything up there. Same thing on this other toolbox, just everything. Um, now with this new toolbox, I'll be able to utilize this still. So I'll put this up on the top of it and you guys will see that when I get it. But there's that drawer full of just junk. Oh, can't even shut it. See next drawer, screwdrivers, just, just a lot of screwdrivers, right? Some miscellaneous sockets. Uh, extensions, ratchets. I'm hoping to clean all this up and make it really nice. Some wrenches. I got a bunch more wrenches. That drawer, just snap ring pliers and just, just more stuff. Right? Look at this. Electrical, pliers, freaking combination square set, a little junk drawer, zip ties, random other stuff I don't need socket drawer hammer chisel drawer just everything just in there not organized at all this drawer is just beat the crap from day one this drawer has been jacked up just random crap in there another impact socket drawer it's my pride and joy there though I got some missing but I'm gonna keep building on that and then, like I showed you, that little Craftsman box, which I absolutely love this. You pull these drawers out and just go. I, I bought this thing on Black Friday like 15 years ago. I love the crap out of it. And then new toolbox, I want to put this stuff in there. You know, like I want to put this in the toolbox. I want to put my tap and die set in there. I want to put my hole saw kit in there. And then this just has a bunch of just random garbage in it. Um, I just, I, I want to clean this stuff up. This is a set of calipers. You know, like I want to clean this up, get this more organized, more junk. All my old air tools that I don't use. Um, down here, I think it pipe clamps. Um, buffing wheels and glue gun and just a bunch of crap. And this is where I keep my welding helmet in that drawer there. Uh, this thing here, flip it up and there's my welding helmet. So, one of the reasons why I wanted to go with the uh, the 56 inch is because it has a big big drawer on the bottom right hand side that will, will hold my welding helmet just fine and maybe some other stuff. But, uh, so coming up this weekend I'm going to buy the 56 inch toolbox. Um, it's on sale for the Mother's Day weekend I guess. Or, yeah, Mother's Day weekend. It's on sale this weekend. So, I'm going to I'm going to buy that and uh, I think there's a 30% off if you're an insider member this weekend. So, so I'm going to get that Sunday. So, it's been a month since I recorded the first part of the video. Um, it is now June 7th. I recorded the video the day before Mother's Day. I have no idea what that date was, but it's been a month. Um, Harbor Freight, I had to wait a month to get my, my new toolbox. It's sitting outside on the trailer. We're going to do an unboxing here in a minute. I wanted to talk about some of the other stuff. Um, first of all, I wanted to talk, I bought the 56 inch US General toolbox in black. Uh, I got it for $765 is what I paid. That's before taxes or anything. That's what I paid for the toolbox. Um, I got some deals and coupons. Mother's Day weekend was pretty good. So I'm gonna run over some of this other stuff that I bought. 
Um, I, like I posted before, I'm gonna save part of the box, but I wanna put some matting in there, so I bought some matting. Stuff is like seven bucks a roll. I think it's pretty cheap. I bought this US General uh, Magnetic Wrench Organizer. I'm gonna give it a whirl. Uh, I have bought this magnetic strip. It's designed to be screwed or bolted into something. But I think I'm gonna set that in the drawer and use it to hold my screwdrivers. I'm gonna put my screwdrivers on it and maybe it'll keep them from rolling around a lot. They didn't really have anything for organizing screwdrivers. Um, so then I bought this US General plier rack. They make a plastic version of this, um, which is quite a bit more expensive. I went with a wire rack just because it's a little, a little less expensive. Um, it holds one more pair than the other than the other rack did. This holds 16, the other rack held 15. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm really interested to see how this works. Just a small organizer. I'm going to organize all my electrical stuff and put that in a box. I bought these mini picks. I just thought they were really cool for, I think they were like two bucks. And then I bought these two lights. Um, lighting is always an issue no matter where you go, um, no matter what you do. Uh, these things are pretty small, a lot of aluminums. Um, $5. Five dollars. I think it's uh, they're both magnetic. I think that's well worth the money. Five bucks a piece for a flashlight. I mean, if they work for a month for me, they're worth five dollars. Um, don't mind the shop. I mean, I'm constantly working on everything. Constantly working on the Pioneer. I'm constantly working on vehicles. Um, I mean, I'm never able to clean. But so we're gonna spin around. I'm gonna get the John Deere uh, with my forks that I made. I'm gonna pick the trap, pick the box up off the trailer. I'll bring it in here, we're gonna unbox it. Let me hit this door. Unboxing. Shall we walk around this side? Um, back up. I want, I want everybody to see this. So, Shelby, my daughter, is behind the camera here. So, this is how it came a little beat up. I'm kind of concerned about that right there. I don't know if that, I mean, if it's damaged there, that's, that's some wood right there. I don't like that. Um, you've seen the marks on the other side. They loaded it there onto my trailer with a forklift. So, I don't know what happened with it getting there. So, let's bust this open and see what we got. Well, I guess part of the fun is the unboxing, right? It's kind of like Christmas for adults. Now all this cardboard I'll reuse for like laying on these vehicles and yada yada so on and so forth. The foam wall going to trash. The prices of wood right there, that's half the price of the box, I think. That piece of wood. So I think they did a pretty good job packaging it, um, taking care. I mean wooden corners all the way around it so nothing got damaged too bad. Here it is. All right, come in here, shelves. So this has kind of a rubber, 
you know, rubber top on it, which is going to be nice. Ooh, it's all locked up. Got the key in the lock. I like how they did that too. Maybe. Okay, that's pretty. You got the latch on the right side. Yeah, all the drawers must come with this this matting in there. As you can see. Um, see if I can get that off of there. I don't want to lock that back in there. Okay. Yeah. There's all the drawers, yep. All of them are gonna come with the matting. Look how far out that comes. No, no issues, nice and coming out, going in. Same thing. Big drawer. Oh, I cannot wait to fill this up with all my stuff. Oh, here we go. Here's an instruction manual. Um, I'm assuming this goes in here. Yep. That must slide in there with the protective cover so you can write maybe what's in the box. That's pretty cool. I didn't even know that existed. That's really neat. Um, I'm going to utilize that for sure. Uh, I'm assuming this is probably the handle that goes over here. Not going to open it up. I'm, I mean, I'm going to guarantee you that's the handle that goes over on this side. Uh, um, then these are the caps that go on the ends here. So, yeah. Now this is one of the reasons why I bought this toolbox. It's for this drawer right here that doesn't open because it's locked. This is this is where I'm going to be able to put my welding helmet, um, my welding gloves, my welding jacket because it's a big box drawer, and it's going to hold all that stuff for me. Awesome. And then these little smaller drawers. Up a little bit. Sorry, I gotta give the camera guy or camera lady some instructions every now and then. There we go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna install everything. That is actually damaged a little bit there. It looks like it just popped that piece off. I just noticed that. That kind of. kind of angers me. Yep. Sure does. I'll see if I can't get that. I'll see if I can't get that fixed, apparently. Um, see what I can do on that end of things. But through the magic of video, this will be in its home over here the next time you see me. All right, so I lied to you a little bit. Uh, the next time you see it, it wasn't installed. I, um, you either need a forklift or like me where I can have forks on a tractor to pick this thing up. It's just me and my daughter. I don't think we'll be able to lift it up safely. Uh, come here. I was able to fix this piece. Um, this was just kind of slid down. Must have taken a pretty big hit here. So this slid down. I just tapped it back up and put this in. Everything's good. So I'm pretty happy with the way it came. Now Shelby's going to back out. I'm going to pick it up. Move it back. Set it back now. Figure you guys want to see the track. Next time you see it, it will be installed. So you just seen the before and after pictures. Uh, now we're going to jump into talking about the toolbox. Um, I, I do want to say that Harbor Freight does not pay me. I, I'm not sponsored by Harbor Freight. I only have 40 subscribers, which reminds me, you know, subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Um, but anyways, let's uh, let's talk about the uh, toolbox. Uh, like I said before, for the money that I spent on this, I, I absolutely love this toolbox. 
Um, it seems very well built. Um, I'll show you all the drawers. I'll show you how I have everything organized, but my socket drawer is extremely heavy. So is my hammer drawer and it works wonderfully. No issues. Um, these things here are to slide in here so I can write on them. Screwdrivers, hammers, pliers, whatever on them. Um, there are end caps to keep them in there and yada yada so on and so forth. Um, I'm not going to do that at this moment. Uh, basically, I don't know if where I have everything is where everything's going to stay. Um, I'm going to use the word toolbox evolution. Um, I might not want the pliers in that drawer. I may want to move the pliers. I may want the pliers, you know, up here with the wrenches or, or whatever have you. Um, so I'm going to probably run this all summer. Uh, I do most of my work in the summer. So by, by the end of summer, I should know how I want my toolbox set up permanently. But as of for today, this is how I think the toolbox is going to be set up. Um, so the box that I pulled out did have the handles in it. The handles are... Uh, very easy to put on. Um, they supply you with the Allen wrench. Seems strong and durable. I loaded the box here with all the tools and I pushed it into place. It rolled just fine. Um, this here drawer is the one with my welding helmet and stuff. This is the other handle. I did not put the other handle on. I saved it. I don't know why. Uh, because I just saved stuff. It goes on this side, but I can't put it here because of the stainless box. And I could not get rid of this crappy wooden shelf. Uh, it's gonna, it's just gonna stay with me. Um, the reason why I kept the crappy wooden shelf is because I had to push the toolbox out to get to these drawers that I have that pull off. Um, this has a lot of my woodworking stuff on it. Um, so I'm, I still need access to that where the toolbox is a lot deeper than my old toolbox, which is great, gives me more room. Um, I wanted to stack this box on top of this box, but it would have been clear up here, and I'm um, a short guy, so we can't have that. So, anyways, let's talk about let's talk about how I organize. Um, there is absolutely nothing in the stainless box. This is my go-to box, which I use on just about absolutely everything I do. I pull out the drawer, I take it wherever I'm working. Love that thing. I don't even know why I have most of this. I pretty much only work out of this thing. But anyways, this is my electrical stuff here. Um, I try to keep my electrical stuff pretty organized so it's a lot easier to find and go. All my drills and impacts on the battery box. Um, I cleaned up the top of my toolbox, made it a lot more user friendly. Uh, I got a picture up there my daughter drew me years ago. And um, all my battery chargers are over here, you know, all plugged in, ready to go. Drop my batteries on and I'm good to go. I still got this little space to throw stuff up here, but it will impede, of course, opening up the drawers but I can I can still put stuff here I can put a tool here when I'm done with it and, and you know so if I need it I can still grab it anyways come on in here Shelby and we'll show them what's in these drawers so in this drawer you got uh, brake tools uh, fuel line tools basically just um, car stuff um, battery stuff uh, this is a measurement drawer calipers uh, these are junk calipers but I'm not gonna get rid of them plumb bob stuff like that I got another measurement drawer here um, like I said before, I'm pretty much a welder fabricator, so I like to do a lot of measuring, cutting, and welding. This is my zip tie drawer. This is a junk drawer. Every toolbox needs a junk drawer. We'll move over here. This is drill bits, hole saws, uh, driver bit. Just These are just ones that I have here, just whatever, and I have another, you know, Harbor Freight brand like that. Drill bits. Uh, tons and tons of drill bits. I mean... I don't know, I just buy drill bits instead of sharpening them, apparently. So we'll move down to these other ones. These are empty. This is empty. This is empty. This is empty. This is my impact or my air tools. Um, I don't really use those much anymore since I got my Milwaukee set. Uh, my welding helmet and stuff that gives me tons of room. There's a welding coat in there, a couple sets of sleeves, some gloves. I like that drawer. Up here is miscellaneous tools. Um, these are tools that I don't use all the time. Um, so they don't really have a happy home yet. Um, they may, that's part of that toolbox evolution that I was talking about. And then here is my screwdriver. And if you remember from the previous video, um, the screwdrivers were just piled in this box. Just, just piled, couldn't even hardly open up the drawer. And look at how well this cleaned up. Um, I mean, I even put Allen wrenches in here and stuff like that. This is, 
This is phenomenal. This little magnetic bar that I bought works great. I like it. I'm happy with it. Very content with this setup right here. Um, now we're going to move on to the wrench drawer, which I, I don't really need any more wrenches. I have so many wrenches. I mean, uh, I mean, even these little wrenches here, are just, I mean, anything you can imagine. Um, these little ratchet wrenches from Harbor Freight that swivel. Pretty cool. Haven't really got to use those too much. Uh, moving on. Then you got the plier drawer, snap ring pliers, uh, metal shearing stuff. Then the plier rack. Um, I bought it from Harbor Freight. I already talked about it. Uh, one thing I do like, I do wish they would have done is made these different spacing for some different sized pliers. Maybe giving you, I don't know, two or three that were a little wider. My vice grips don't really fit in there too well. Some of my linesman's pliers don't fit in there too well. Um, but anyways, then you go on, you know, and you got the rest of electrical stuff. Um, more, you know, car stuff. I probably should put this up in there with the other car stuff, but it's fine there for now. Um, then this is the impressive drawer here. This is the socket drawer. Get a good view of that, Shelby. This is, this is a good drawer. Big, heavy, heavy drawer. I mean, that alone's a couple pounds, right? Um, I have multiple sockets and all this stuff. Um, this drawer handles it absolutely beautifully. I'm very, very happy with how heavy this drawer is and how well this box handles it. And I mean, just like that, easy. And then here it is, hammer, chisel, chisel, rasp, pry bars. I mean, my pry bars are in the box. Like I never could do that before. I had to have them hanging off the box somewhere else. Um, so yeah, that, uh, that concludes the toolbox tour. Um, I hope you guys, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, this is going to be one of my longest videos. Um, please comment and let me know if you liked how I unboxed it and and me using the tractor. I figure you guys like to see that stuff in everyday, you know, in an everyday shop. Um, so please hit that like button. Please subscribe, and we'll see you guys later.